come on in, pull up a chair and take a load off because today I will be reviewing and paging through the seventh edition Call of Cthulhu Keeper screen pack from Chaosium Inc. So is this screen and adventure pack a must have for keepers of all stripes or is this less essential than Chaosium would lead you to believe? Well, you're going to find out right after this. Howdy, 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 gang. Yes, I'm Jeff McAleer, back once again as your host here at the Gaming Gang channel. As I mentioned in the open, we are going to be diving into the 7th edition Call of Cthulhu Keeper screen pack because it's not just the Keeper screen. There's two adventures, there's maps, there's pre-generated characters. There's actually a lot in this pack. But before we do so, let me remind you, if you like this video, please give it a quick thumbs up. Subscribe to the Gaming Gang channel if you haven't. And of course, if you do subscribe, ring that notification bell. It will not only let you know when I upload videos such as this, it'll also tell you when my live stream, The Daily Dope, airs Monday through Thursday nights right here on YouTube as I bring you the latest in tabletop gaming news. Of course, when you're not watching videos on the Gaming Gang channel, please visit thegaminggang.com for all the latest in gaming news, reviews, comics, movies, TV. You know the drill. Get your geek on at thegaminggang.com. All right, so as I mentioned, we are going to be diving on into the 7th edition Call of Cthulhu Keeper screen pack from Chaosium Inc. As I mentioned, it includes two adventures, Blackwater Creek and Mist Dews. It's written by Sandy Peterson, Mike Mason, Paul Fricker, and Scott Dorward, with artwork provided by Ardila, taking a guess at that pronunciation, Pat Laboyko, Chris Huth, and Chris Lackey. The physical screen and adventure supplement and extras do carry an MSRP of $29.95 for the physical release. You can also get the PDF at Drive-Thru RPG for $14.95. Of course, whenever I mention drive through RPG, the Gaming Gang is an affiliate of the One Bookshelf site. So if you are going to head over to drive through RPG, please visit thegaminggang.com first. Click on one of our banners. That way, if you happen to make a purchase, we get a little portion of that sale. And it all really helps keep the Gaming Gang around. Swing on over to the other camera because here we've got the keeper screen pack so i do want to mention that i received my keeper screen pack as part of the slip case set for call of cthulhu which included the investigator's handbook as well as the keeper's guide plus the keeper screen pack that is available for 129 dollars and I, I believe it's 95 cents and it is fantastic. It is a fantastic slipcase. So you can get this separately. Of course, you can also get it in PDF. So I'm going to slide this out here. So one thing I will point out is the way that this is put together, we've got this little, little holder here. And this cover sheet gets all beat up. <laughs> It'll get all beat up trying to slip that back in there. So you may kind of just... Toss that to the side. So we've got the adventure booklet, which I think I'm going to save that for last. We'll look at that last. We've got keeper references. We've got some maps. We've got character sheets, which I thought that was very nice. And these are actually kind of slick paper, too. These aren't just matte paper. We've got some other items that we're going to utilize for player handouts. So we've got that. And then of course we do have the screen itself. So let's flip this over. I'm gonna show you the artwork that's on it. I do like the artwork. I think the artwork is very cool. I kind of saw this on uh, the cover of this. So it looks like we've got somebody, 
these are tentacles grabbing somebody in the woods. Looks like there's something else lurking in the woods as well. Could be, these could be bootleggers right here, making some sort of a delivery. We've got what appears to be some investigators. Are we going to take a peek to see what is this, uh, this ruin here? So very cool. I do really like the artwork. You will notice that this is landscape. So it is a shorter screen. Now let's flip this on over and we're going to take a look at the information that's contained within. I've pointed out to people before and some folks just don't believe me when I tell them that Call of Cthulhu is not really that crunchy a game. People disagree with me, but the reality is if you understand the whole percentile uh, concept of the system, the D100 system, you pretty much got everything covered. Yes, of course, you've got different skills. You have to have an idea how the skills work, of course, but it's that's not considered crunch in my book. You don't have tons and tons of different rule mechanics operating at the same time in Call of Cthulhu. So we've got a variety of informational boxes throughout here. So we've got determining difficulty levels, talking about bonus and penalty dice, comparing results, firearm difficulty, talking about different firearms, armor values, automatic fire, resolving attacks, development of investigators. We've got credit rating as far as the living standards, as well as other forms of damage. Then we go and we have the combat flow chart which talks about establish the order of attack. Is it a surprise? Resolve in dex order. So we got a little walkthrough right here, breaking down the flow chart of combat. Bouts of madness. Uh, we've got different types of madness. We've got phases of insanity, examples of sanity costs, human limits, and assisting each other. The investigators assisting each other. We've got the insanity effects, chases, which is a, a new kind of subsystem that's been added into 7th edition as well. We've got a bit of a diagram for damage. So it's not just a bunch of tables and charts that are thrown onto this keeper screen. It is pretty much a breakdown of how you play and the various different systems that are involved. As I mentioned before, I don't find Call of Cthulhu to be a crunchy game. I really don't. I know people disagree with me, but when I think of a crunchy role-playing game, I'm thinking of games like GURPS, you know, stuff like that. All right, so that is the screen. So it is three panels, very nice, and it is also a matte finish. It is not a glossy finish, which I do appreciate as well. Now let's jump on into Miss Dews and Blackwater Creek. I will try to keep this spoiler free. So we'll just kind of page through so you get a look at it. I'm not necessarily going to uh, go into tons of detail about each of the adventures here, but uh, this clocks in at 88 pages. So these are not just quick one session adventures by any stretch of the imagination. So we've got Blackwater Creek here. We've got uh, a selection of pre-generated characters as well. We've got six for each of the adventures. So Blackwater Creek kind of is a nod to the color out of space. I will leave it at that. So a uh, pretty good adventure though. It is, this can turn into a pretty lethal adventure really easily as well. So, so I'm just flipping on through here. And then we start getting into some of the backgrounds for the different characters. So we've got the pre-gens for each of the characters as well. It's kind of interesting because normally when you purchase a Game Master screen, you really just get the screen. <laughs> I mean, for the most part, 
once in a while you might get a little booklet, maybe 15 pages or so. I do like recently we have seen some companies going with uh, a bit more, packing a bit more punch with their Game Master screens. Very, very cool. I'll be the first to point out, I have not seen a Game Master screen product that had as much content in it as this one. There might be one out there. I have just not seen it. So now we get into Miss Do's, which the interesting aspect of this is the game is the adventure is actually designed for the player characters to be criminals. So they don't have to be criminals, but it's the adventure is much easier to play through completion if they are criminals. And uh, there is some crazy, crazy stuff going on in this adventure. This adventure is shorter. I could see this adventure being played out in a longer session. So then we get into the pre-gens here. As I mentioned, they're all going to be criminals of one sort or another. Also should point out that uh, the paper stock for this book is very nice. So this will hold up very, very nicely as well. So this has a um, kind of a, it's, it's not just a paper cover to it. So very nicely done here. So that is the adventure booklet. Of course, I already showed you, we've got a bunch of pre-generated character sheets. Cool thing about this, and I'm, I'm really surprised that Chaosium has done this. A lot of the adventures that are coming out, including these two that are in the Keeper's screen pack, don't necessarily require the full rules. You could easily play the adventures with only the starter set. And uh, I think that's very cool of Chaosium to do. But in my opinion, you really should have. Should have the Investigator Handbook. You should have a copy of the Keeper Guide because they are that good. They are fantastic. They are, they are excellent. I've said it time and time again, Call of Cthulhu is my go-to role-playing game. Has been for decades. I am a huge fan. So we have a map of Lovecraft Country that's included in this pack. Very nice. It's just single-sided, but we do get this map here, which is reproduced. I, I believe this is from the Keeper Guide. I'm sure someone out there watching will correct me. It's either from the Keeper Guide or it's from the Investigator Handbook. But I, I think it's from the Keeper Guide. And nice stock, not just simply flimsy paper. Then we get the map of Arkham, which uh, kind of has a cool vibe to it. There we go. So Arkham, Massachusetts. I could easily see this being used as a poster. The Miskatonic Campus, the Merchant District, French Hill, downtown. We've actually got streets marked as well. So we got College Street, Pickman Street. So we've got the map there. We've got the Keeper References. So this is a booklet here that uh, shows you various different aspects of the game just in like bite-sized nuggets where you can easily get to it. You don't have to be sitting there paging through the entire keeper guide to find these things, sample poisons, the different mythos tomes, the weapons. And then we get an index of the keeper rule book as well and the investigator's handbook. So I thought that was kind of cool, just add it in here. Uh, 
for an example, we've got a little section here talking about, okay, so what's the quick way of generating investigators? Skill points, what do they mean? So if I've got a 40% in a skill, what does that really mean? Besides, okay, so I've got a 40% chance of success at, you know, a standard difficulty. Kind of talks about it. What, what's my education score? What does that mean? So we've got this as well. So we've got the references. We've got the map. We've got these character sheets. Oh, I forgot there's one more map I missed. So we've got these are the handouts for the adventures as well as nice, cool, slick character sheets. Although I have to admit, these might be a little tough if you're using pencil. So, of course, your skills are usually changing and your sanity and things like that change. So I don't know. I'm not so sure how useful these will be as far as uh, with using pencil. All right, so the other map is actually kind of the old ones on Earth. So kind of shows some of the some of the major locales. So for an example, down here we've got Rely near Easter Island. So <laughs> the Earth, the great old one's dark prize. So they have cities, mysterious locations, mythos sites. Once again, cool little poster here. Just nice uh, add-on to the pack. So we've got all of that. We've got Miss Dews and Blackwater Creek, as well as the three panel keeper screen with the cool artwork. Show that artwork off one more time over here. Kind of mysterious. Very cool, very nice. All right, so this is everything you find if you purchase the physical Keeper screen pack for 7th edition of Cthulhu. So let's swing on over to the other camera. I will share my final thought and give this a review score. All right. For some reason, the camera didn't change. <laughs> when I clicked that, I was like, come on, come on. All right. So there is tons to love about this 7th edition called Cthulhu. Keeper's screen pack. As I said before, a lot of times you'll just purchase the Game Master screen, Dungeon Master screen, whatever you want to call it, Keeper's screen, Referee screen, and all you get is the screen. And they're usually about anywhere from about 15 to 20 bucks is what you'll normally find. With this, you not only get a cool screen, which kind of just gives you a flow chart of a lot of the different aspects of running the game. It's not just a bunch of tables thrown out there. It actually is going to help keepers of all experience levels to keep in mind, okay, so this is what happens. So this is combat. So we go from this to this to this to this. And at, at a certain point, you're not going to need it. You're going to memorize it. You're going to understand it. But it's nice to have it right in front of you. So really, really like that. It just kind of explains different aspects of the game as opposed to just saying, boom, here's a hit location table. Do with it what you will. Also includes two very cool adventures. One is a bit meatier than the other, so but they aren't just adventures which you'll finish up in two, three hours with your group. They are going to take time for the players to complete, and they are good adventures as well. I got to admit, uh, Miss Dews, I'm not as big on as Blackwater Creek. I, I don't know. I just The whole concept of the player characters being criminals, I'm maybe not that keen on. But the adventure is easily adapted to uh, have the player characters not be on the wrong side of the law. Although some people might dig it because it's, it is a bit different than your standard Call of Cthulhu investigators who are professors and authors and 
and things like that, esoteric type. Also, you get the cool maps, you get character sheets. This is just loaded. This is jam packed. And $29.95 is a very, very solid price. I mean, that that is a really nice price for everything that you get. Even in PDF, if you decide you want to just go for the PDF, $14.95 is a good deal. I really like this a lot. I got to say, this is the best Game Master screen pack I have encountered. It's got a lot going for it. You're not just buying a keeper screen. You are getting a bunch of reference material to help you out as a game master. Two very solid adventures as well. I got to say, on a scale of 1 to 10, I've got to give the 7th edition Call of Cthulhu keeper screen pack a 10 out of 10. It is that good. It is an excellent game master screen, as well as two cool adventures, other goodies as well. You can't go wrong adding it to your Call of Cthulhu collection if you happen to be a keeper. All right, that is it for this time out. Let me remind you, if you like this video, by all means, please give it a quick thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you do subscribe, ring that notification bell because it will not only let you know when I upload videos such as today's review, It'll also tell you when my live stream, The Daily Dope, airs Monday through Thursday nights right here on YouTube as I bring you the latest in tabletop gaming news. And of course, when you're not watching videos on the Gaming Gang channel, be sure to visit thegaminggang.com for all the latest in gaming news, reviews, comics, movies, TV. Get your geek on at thegaminggang.com. Of course, until next time, as I have been closing out, the videos, unfortunately, during this pandemic, allow me to just hope that you be smart and stay safe. Oh, you're still here. Well, if that's the case, by all means, subscribe to the Gaming Gang channel by clicking right here. And of course, if you want to catch up on past episodes of The Daily Dope, check out this playlist. And if you'd like to see what YouTube's recommending you take a peek at from the channel, just give a click right over here. Of course, I'm Jeff McAleer, and once again, thank you very much for watching.